morning. Liz Ann here this morning and I want to share with you my meditation routine this morning which I use to clear my mind, clear my heart from all the cares and the thoughts of the day and or even of the night. I usually do it in the morning so um, but even once I get up and I get my daughter ready I usually just have so many things running through my mind and it's so good to sit down and just clear my mind and connect with God and um, I usually just get a lot of good from this. So I want to share it with you, and if it's a benefit, that would be great. I'm sitting up on a large pillow. This helps my, um, for me, it helps me with, it's not necessary, but it helps me to stay in a cross-leg position. I, I sit up on the pillow. I put my, cross my legs up in front of the pillow. And so I'm a little bit elevated in the hip area. And, and then I align myself. And so you want your, your uh, spine as straight as possible. I've always had a very, um, not a very good posture, so I've really had to work on my posture over the years, and um, I, this is a really good way to just keep it, uh, uh, keep a good posture in practice, and then throughout the day, remember to align your heart over your hip, over your pelvic, and then your head over your heart, so there, there's a perfect alignment there going on. And then once I start, um, I check with my body. Once I'm aligned, I mean, I check in with my body and see how it's feeling because if I try to concentrate and go into meditation and I feel really uncomfortable or there's some kind of uncomfortable pain in the way I'm sitting or positioned, then I'm not going to be able to focus. And even sometimes I've had to, um, instead of being in a cross-leg position, open up a leg because it was just numbing up on me. So uh, there's no hard, fast rules here. You know, whatever works for you. I'm just showing you what I do. Um, so I'll check in, and a lot of times the first thing I have to do is I notice my, my back. I carry a lot of tension in my back and neck, and so I have to loosen it up. And so one of the exercises that I do to loosen up my back while I'm here is something that I learned from Yoga with Adrian. But you can, if you Google her on YouTube, you can find her um, yoga classes. They're really wonderful. I highly recommend her. So this one, I will take my right hand and I will put it on my left knee. And then I will take my left hand and I will set it on the floor right behind me with my fingers pressed into the floor. And then keeping everything long and opened, I will just take a deep breath and then blow out and blow into a twist. Come back to center. I realign myself. Heart over pelvic. Head over heart. I put my left hand over my right knee. I put my right hand behind me, fingers pressed into the carpet. I'm starting a little late this morning, so there's a lot of distraction outside for me right now. But um, once I have that um, done, I will check in with my spine by curling, giving it a good stretch and curling it in a C position by curling my whole back like a big turtle back. Curling it back and then putting my head, my chin to my chest. Taking a couple deep breaths. Elbows out. Just a real big stretch and circle of opening everything up. And then again realigning. Sometimes I will go forward with it. I will do the C stretch. And then I'll do a forward stretch. And bring everything 
everything back into alignment again. Then I need to check in with my neck. So I sometimes will put my chin to my chest, draw it back along to the back shoulder, go up gently around might go the other way I may feel a kink but I just kind of work out a little bit just take it slow pay attention to how it feels Now I may work on that for a little while, I may do it just really quickly. Um, for the sake of the video, I'm just going to go over it in a quick way and you can do it more on your own. Main thing is that you don't want to hurt, you don't want anything to snag and to pull, so pay close attention to that. Um, sometimes it's good just to do a couple, look over the shoulder, back to center, look over the shoulder and back to center again. So once I feel like I'm loosened up in my back and I'm in a comfortable position, right now I kind of feel like I have like this little bit of a kink up in the top of my back, so I might just kind of work it out a little bit. And then I um, begin my breathing practice. And I learned this from my therapist, this breathing te particular breathing technique is to help balance the left and right hemi hemispheres of the brain and just to bring a, a balance into your body. And so this is the one I'll begin practicing with. And what I do is I take my right hand and I use the, the finger between my middle and my pinky and you gently, you keep your arm rested and you gently just cover your nostril, one um, side of your nostril up and then you take a deep breath in the other nostril and then with your thumb you cover that nostril and let it out then you breathe in that nostril and let it out Usually I count how many times I do it, a full round, starting one, letting out the other, breathing in one, letting out the other, is one full round. I count it on the other hand, so I'll start with this finger, then I go to this finger, this finger, and this finger when I've completed each round, and then I go back again. And when I'm finished, my breathing exercises is finished.